Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at the Popov Leather EDC Pocket Armor. This is a little knife and pen slip from Popov Leather, and a big thank you to the company, especially to Marnie and Ryan for helping me get a hold of this. They did send this over for review free of charge. Um, I did not let that affect my reviewing in any way, at least I tried not to, but just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and go over what I like about it, when we reach towards what I dislike. Just before we do that, we're going to go ahead and do some size comparisons on it. So on the left here, we have a standard credit card. It is a little bit wider than the pocket armor and a little bit shorter as well. So this will not fit credit cards. However, in my last video, one of the viewers did suggest possibly a wallet with a pen holder. That feedback um, was received by Popov. They did see that. So... They, whether they do something with that or not, I'm very interested to see. I, would, I personally would love it, but, you know. And over here we have a standard pocket size notebook. It's a little difficult to see in frame. Um, it's a standard 3x5 uh, notebook. And I'll kind of fit that down there. So you can see it is, of course, wider and taller. The dimensions on this are actually... Um, two and a quarter inches wide if you don't include the webbing if you do include the pin loop webbing it is two and a half inches wide um, and then four and a quarter inches tall so it's a pretty good size if it's a wide variety of knives they do have a list of compatible knives that they have tested online that you can certainly go and check i'll run through them real quick here though if you miss any again check out the website there will be a link down in the description to this exact product um, the victorinox alox victorinox spartan crkt squid and hi-ho the Northwoods knives, slip joints, if you've seen those, the GEC slip joints, um, James Brand Chapter, Kershaw Skyline, Leatherman Juice, Ultratac K18, Pioneer X. I've tried out quite a few from my personal collection, a ton of them fit. Um, the Booze Blade Smoke, the Kershaw Launch 4, Spider Crow Dragonfly, um, the Spider Crow Spidey Chef is probably the largest knife that I've tried in it. Fits really, really well, even with the clip. But currently, in what I've been carrying in there, almost exclusively has been the bench made proper because it's just fantastic the knife slips right down there it's a perfect grip i don't really have to worry about it slipping out and it's it's completely molded to this knife it's it's fantastic i really really like the quality of this leather which we'll get to in just a moment i'm getting a bit ahead of myself but it will fit most standard sized pocket knives if you're curious about whether or not it will fit um, leave me a comment down below, and if I if it's a knife that I have, I will very, very certainly try. Um, you may also be able to ask them. They may be able to help you out on that. Um, but generally what I would do is probably, I wouldn't go with something ridiculously large. If it's smaller than the Spidey Chef, and it's not super thick, it's probably going to fit just fine. All right, on to what I like about it. So first up is going to be the quality. Um, the quality of the leather, the quality of the stitching, everything. So um, we'll go talk about the stitching first. So the stitching is very even, it's very consistent, and it's very, very good. And I was, I was very, very impressed with the stitching. Um, that's a very important thing on a handmade leather product, and they, they really nailed it here. They did a great job. The burnishing along the edges is really, really good, really consistent. The leather quality itself is fantastic. It is full grain Horween leather. Um, they do have a whole explanation on their website about all of this. Um, if you want to check all that out, just know that full grain leather is a whole lot better than standard quote unquote genuine leather, um, which is top grain. This is a lot, lot better. Um, it may have a bit more inconsistencies in terms of appearance, but from my use, um, I vastly prefer full grain. It's it's night and day compared to most lesser degree leather. It's it's fantastic. It's really durable. It takes on an awesome look after you've beat it up a little bit and kind of worn it. It's it's just nice. I really really like the leather they've used in this too. It's very supple. The thickness they got just perfect. I was a bit worried about it being too thin and a little too flimsy when I initially got it. That concern went right out of the window probably within the first day or two. It is thick enough to where it adds protection, but it doesn't create any extra bulk. Um, it's not really that much thicker than the knife itself. Very minimal, very, very, very discreet. Once you slip it into your pocket, 
at least for me, I generally forget it's gone, or I forget it's there. It just disappears until I need it, of course, and then it's, it's great. Um, the pen loop is great as well. It's very stretchy and very, very durable. I, I had a bit of a concern about its durability initially too, but I haven't had any issues with it. I take this pen in and out of it probably a dozen times a day or so. I haven't had any problems. Um, they do sell this along with a Fisher Space Pen if you're interested in picking up one of those. I'm positive that'll fit just fine. I have a Caveco Lilliput here that I've been carrying around in it. I've also tried the Millum Pro Pocket Fountain Pen. If if the pen's about the same uh, thickness, you should be able to fit it in just fine. Uh, the height's not a huge concern. The Millum Pro is a bit taller than the Lilliput, but it, it fit just fine as well. And it's overall the pin loop, I think, is just what really drives this home. I've been looking for a reason to carry a slip joint. I just don't like them banging around in my pocket all the time. And this is a fantastic solution. The fact that I can toss in my pen that I already carry every day anyway is just great. It's, this is super, super useful to me, specifically. Another thing I really like about this, um, it comes with a lifetime guarantee. I don't see that on a lot of leather products because leather does wear and tear. However, they basically say if there's any issues with the craftsmanship or through normal use, it gets torn up or or it rips or anything like that. As long as you didn't do it by doing something stupid like letting you know letting it get run over or stabbing it or something like that, they'll fix it for free. You can send it back to them and they'll fix it. That's really, really reassuring when you're buying something like this, uh, because generally, when you buy something like this, you want it to last years and years and years, if not, you know, a lifetime. And leather can do that. Leather's super durable, especially when you use really good quality leather like they've done here. Last thing in the like list here is the price. Now, when I was writing up this review, I really wasn't positive about the price of this. I assumed it would be around $40. That's what I would feel comfortable paying for it. So right before I filmed this, I went and looked up the price. It's not $40. It's $34 with free shipping to the U.S. and Canada. That's a fantastic, fantastic price for this. I can't stress that enough. Um, I, I Before we even get to the conclusion, at this price, I recommend this all day. If you're looking for something like this, especially if you have a slip joint knife, this doesn't have a clip, you don't want it banging around in the bottom of your pocket, this is a fantastic solution. And if you carry a pen, that's even better. That's that's great. Again, for me, $34, this is a no-brainer. I would buy these constantly. All right, let's go ahead and go over to the neutral. So the only thing on the neutral list is I wish there were more sizes of this offered. Personally, this size for me is great. Um, I might make it a bit more narrow, but Probably not, to be honest. I, I really like it in this size. However, it would be kind of cool if they would offer some that were maybe, you know, a quarter to a half an inch wider and taller, maybe quarter to half an inch smaller as well. Um, just to fit some knives a bit more precisely. I feel like for standard three to three and a quarter inch blade knives, um, this is going to be fantastic. It's it's great for knives right in this size range of the Benchmade proper. It's it's great. I really like it. Every knife I own that's in this size range that I put in here, it's wonderful. You know, ZT 0450 CF fits in here great. My Millet Torrent fits in here great. Um, the proper is just what I've decided to go with because it is a slip joint, and I feel like this suits it so, so well. Um, it'd be nice if other sizes were offered. I understand that may add complications as far as customers questioning what to order, things like that. Um, but I think a bit more variety would be would be nice as well. All right, there is nothing on the dislike list. That's interesting, but there isn't. Um, this is my second review in a row that there hasn't been anything on the dislike list. I promise you I'm not um, becoming just a genuinely happier person. Um, I just don't have any problems with this. Nothing about this strikes me as being bad. Uh, nothing. Again, a, a bit more variety in the sizes would be nice, but they offer variety in other areas. You know, there's four different types of leather you can pick from. Each comes in multiple colors of stitching. If you're curious, this is the Heritage Brown leather I have here um, with brown stitching as well. 
it's it's just it's really nice i really really like this i like leather products as it is uh, a lot and just the way they age the way they feel the durability it's just nice this one's already started to pick up some age and i've, I've had it for a little while here and it's 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 awesome leather it kind of conforms and becomes yours and i definitely see that here it's made me carry a knife that i love a lot and it it worked right into my edc i didn't have to force it i didn't have to make any concessions it just works personally for me this is fantastic now if you only have knives with clips you know I would probably just stick with clipping them to your pocket unless you don't want to scratch something up and in which case this is perfect it's pocket armor so it keeps everything from getting banged up if, if that's a concern of yours but if you have any slip joint any smaller knife or any knife that you want to take the clip off of this is great if it fits in here it's it's probably going to do wonders for you now if you don't carry a pen uh, you know, I could I could maybe see that as well. Might not be super great for you. Um, I'd be interested if they offered an option without the the pin loop. I personally wouldn't be interested in it, but it would be again a nice thing. But that's a whole bunch of other skews and things like that. So for me, this is perfect. This is wonderful. This is great. <laughs> and if you think that something like this may be of use to you, I strongly suggest picking it up. You know, if you don't carry a pen and you don't own any slip joints, maybe not, but I don't know why you're not carrying a pen in the first place. Or maybe if you're interested in getting a pen, you can add on a Fisher Space Pen, like I mentioned. It's um, it's an extra $25, and the Fisher Space Pens are really, really good. They're, it's a ballpoint pen. You can check out my review of it, but they're nice. Um, they're very useful in your EDC. I prefer fountain pens, it's just what I go with. But having this much utility in one place, keeping my pen and my knife together so I don't lose them, it's great. And I really, really am impressed with this product. I'm impressed with the company. They're one of my favorite companies that I've worked with. They've been very responsive, very kind their website's nice, <laughs> just little things like that. It's just great. They offer a ton of other products as well. Um, I'll give them a, a quick plug here. They do wallets, you know, they do belts, they do EDC stuff. They have notebook covers as well. And I know if you're watching this channel, you're probably, you probably have a ton of notebooks. They offer those. They offer watch straps, which I've looked at multiple times. Um, they offer a bunch of stuff. So go check out their site. Um, if you have any questions, ask down below. If you have any questions about whether or not a knife will fit in my collection, I'll be more than happy to try it out and give you a reply. And if you have any other questions about the product or anything like that, make sure to ask um, the guys at Pop Off Leather and girls over there. They, you know, you can contact them, reach out to them with any questions. I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. Again, thanks to Marty and Ryan for helping me out with this. I hope all of you have a wonderful day. And there will be links to check out this down in the description. And again, if you have any questions, just ask. Thanks, guys. Bye.